Welcome back to the channel and welcome back to another installment of Project Raging Rhino. You guys know where we're at on this. In the last video, we got the motor all pulled out. She's sitting on the bench. So today we're gonna get right to it and start tearing down this motor. Oh, a lot of little stuff to do, little things to take off. So we'll probably be in a lot of time lapse today, but should still be enjoyable. I'm very anxious to see what the inside of this motor looks like with 8,500 miles on it. And as you guys saw in the stock performance test runs with this guy, she still runs good and strong. We think we had some uh, issues with our CVT. It's pretty much just dirt and probably the primary clutch isn't sliding what it could kind of limited us on the stock runs there we did. So we think motor-wise we're in good shape, but we're about to find out because we're going to tear into her. So I'm going to glove up, tool out, and get cracking on tearing this motor down. So we're making some progress here as you guys saw on the time lapse. I wanted to stop here real quick though because I got the one side of the crankcase, the stator side of the crankcase off and I'm very surprised by the color of our stator. I would say this might be part of the reason why we thought our battery was shot and not holding charge. This stator cannot be working well. So that means it's probably not only failing to charge our battery like I should, so I know, I don't know if it came out in the video mentioned this, but there was kind of like a surge to this engine when it was idling. It would be like when that's exactly what it sounded like. But uh, the shape of this stator, that can't have been sending a consistent signal to our coil to fire the spark plug. That might have been partly to do with that. I mean, look at this guy. She is all black as black can be. Even the metal contacts here. And I don't know if we were rubbing here on our flywheel magnets or something. I mean, this doesn't look too bad. Something had to be going on there. Anyway, we're definitely going to replace this with a new one. But let's continue digging in, see if we can get this head off. Take a look at, see what our cylinder and piston's like. Not that it matters, because we're replacing that anyway with some performance goodies, but still, to be an indication of how this guy ran, was ran most of its life. More progress, another great place to pause. We got the head pulled off. And I must say, if this is all original components, 8,500 miles, ah, we get rid of this here. This shape of the head and our valves, I mean, that is looking great. Yeah, we got normal carbon buildup. We'll clean all this up, but that looks phenomenal. Our piston down in there, if that is the original, looks really, really good. And I know you're not going to be able to see. Let me see if I can get some light in there. A little better. Yeah, not really. But our cylinder walls too, as best as you guys can see, are in good shape as well. Uh, you really, the honing is kind of wore off. But I don't see any big gouges or anything. So that is a very good sign. So, we're going to keep plugging away. See if I can get the cylinder pulled off and then we can take a better look at the internals on the inside.
All right, everyone, we have officially got the engine split in two. And I must say, everything under here, our gears and stuff look absolutely beautiful for the mileage. And to let a little bit of the cat out of the bag, this crank is going to no longer be used. And the new one that we're getting will be have new bearings for it. So those will be replaced. But other than that, it's mostly just going to be cleaning everything up. Now, these older Rhinos, if you don't know, this is the reverse gear right here. And these would tend to go out because, as you can see... The only thing holding this little gear in place is a tiny little C-clip. And what would happen is that C-clip would either break or work its way loose. And because... I'll get back in there. We have this whole shaft play that this gear could then move because this other side only comes to about right there. Then you would lose your reverse gear. Now they fix these on the later year Rhinos. But this 09 still has this old wheat gear, so we will be upgrading to the upgrade kit before we put everything back together. But yeah, as you can see, we've got a mess of parts here now to clean up. Everything else looks fairly good. Our wet clutch here we are probably going to replace. You can see it's black. It's well wore. This is probably the OEM clutch pads on that, so we'll replace that. And of course, we're going to go do a slug kit in a wet clutch too our wet clutch drum does show some wear here it does groove a little bit not as bad as what this looks but i don't know i'll have to talk to greg and decide what we're going to do with that for time being but yeah there she is engine all apart now comes the tedious part of tearing stuff down more cleaning it all up and then once all the performance parts get here we're putting back into this It'll be all time to put back together, but by then I should have all this clean. So once they're here, we can slap stuff in, put her together, get her back into her home, his home, her home. I don't know what Greg's going to consider this, uh, he or she. We are calling it Raging Rhino, but that could be either gender. But anyway, we'll get the motor back in there, and then we'll be able to ready to rip and tear in it. And see if my X4 can still outrun it. I know I'll get them on top speed, but... I bet you this thing's going to beat the X4 off the line now. If he, can, if he can hook up and keep him spinning, he is probably going to get me off the line. But we'll just have to wait and see. Go ahead and comment below what you guys think when we're done. I know we haven't actually disclosed what all we're installing yet. I'm waiting till the parts get here so we can show them to you. But I have already mentioned in the vid where we did the stock runs on this that we are going to be doubling at least doubling the rear wheel horsepower so you guys let me know if you think this is going to be able to beat the x4 off the line or do you think the x4 is still going to have an advantage well, let me know in the comments below i think we'll call that quits for this video made some good progress today i know it was mostly just time lapse but not really much to show besides me just undoing bolts and pulling stuff off so for now i'm going to say thanks for watching and until next time keep on riding